In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use polynome to play three against four against five. So that's three separate rhythms. Now, if you want to download these presets rather than program them, you can get them from the public library. To do that, click on the menu icon, go to public library. If you don't have an account, you'll see the instructions about how to get one here, it's free. And once you're signed in, you want to scroll down to odd time clicks, and then you want to look for three versus four versus five. And then scroll down and tap on the install link and choose to open in Polynome. This will import the presets. You can click on view imports and they'll show up in your preset library. So here's the first one, three versus four versus five. And this is set up to play a single bar divided into three versus a single bar divided into five. And then we're using the overlay faders to do the four count. So this is how that sounds. So that seems pretty crazy, right? I have the four count showing as big numbers, which is this fader on the left. And then you can see the numbers one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. I have those faders muted. If I bring this up, you'll hear the three count. One, two, three. One, two, three. And if I bring up the five fader here, three, four, five, one, two, three, you'll hear that count. Four, five, one. And then I have auto voice count assigned to the one fader, so we can hear the four count. One, two, three, four, one, two. If you want to hear them all together, that's going to sound kind of crazy. And then the four blip is happening on the mark fader. And I chose to set mark position to be every quarter note. To set this up, all I did was tap on metronome one and choose change rhythm. And I went to the whole note option to give me divisions of a whole note. And I clicked on three to get three notes per bar. And then in metronome two, I did the same. Now you can tap and hold on the notes to jump straight to the change rhythm page. So again, I went to the whole note and chose five. So that's five notes per bar. And then I use the overlay fader to give me the quarter notes. So that's three versus four versus five. And then I assign sounds to these rhythms. So you can tap, choose change sounds. And for line one, I chose the L sound and I assigned voice one to three. Now, if you tap and hold one of these buttons, that's how you choose the sound assignment. So you can see here that the L button is assigned sound voice one to three. And if I click on show, that will show it to me. So you can choose voice one to three, one to four, one to five, E and R, triplet, various different things here. And on line two, I assign the H sound and I've chosen E block seven for the H sound. In metronome two, again, change sounds and you can either tap and choose change sounds or you can tap and hold underneath the notes to go straight to the change sounds page. And here for line one, I have R, and that's assigned voice one to five. And on line two, I have L, and that's assigned E block six sound. So that's how I created that version. Now a second way of thinking of three versus four versus five is to think of accenting every third note of a subdivision every fourth note of a subdivision and every fifth note of a subdivision and just see how those things work together. So that is what is in the second preset. So we'll load this and take a look. So here you'll note that I have quarter notes. I've got four bars of quarter notes up here, four bars of quarter notes in metronome two as well. And here we've chosen to assign one, two, three, repeating and the H sound repeating and I've accented every third note up here. So if I go and look on the change rhythm page, it's just four bars of quarter notes. On the change sounds page, you can see I've just entered a single letter for line one, the H, which is E block seven, and a single letter for line two, the L, 
which is voice one to three, and that just loops those. Metronome two is the same thing. So I've got the four bars of quarter notes, tap and hold underneath the notes to get changed sounds, a single letter R, assigned voice one to five, on line two, a single letter L, which is assigned E block six. And the accents, you can either tap and choose change accents, or you can tap and hold above the notes to jump straight to the change accents page. And here I've just entered an accent followed by four non-accents. So when we play this, the accent fader here determines the volume of the non-accented notes. So when this is all the way at the top, we're only hearing the accented notes. And as I bring this down, we start to hear some of the non-accented notes. And at the bottom, they're all the same volume. So here I've got the three count and that's muted. If I push this up, we'll start to hear every one. And if I bring the one, accent fader down, one, we'll hear one, the two and three. Okay, and then we can do the same with the five fader here, which is talking about these notes. One, one, so that's every one, fifth note, and I can bring one, the accents down. One, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, one. And then push that back down. And then if we want to hear the four count, that's on this one fader. So that's another way of hearing three versus four versus five. It's a different kind of rhythm. And you'll note that the accents and the counts here change every time this loops because they don't fit perfectly here. We've got one, two, three, so that will start one, two, three. But here we end on a one, so it's going to jump to two, three here. And so those things loop. And you can see occasionally when the accents fall at the same time, that's when the three and the five resolve. And when they fall at the same time on beat one, that's when the three and the four and the five resolve. Since we've only assigned here a count of one to three and a count of one to five to whatever rhythm is in here, we can quickly change this back to the other version. If I simply tap and choose to change the rhythm and clear this out, and I make this a bar divided into three, we're back where we were before with the one, two, three. And if I tap and change rhythm, and clear all and set this to be a bar divided into five that's automatically assigned here now we have the accents in as well so we could play this now we're just hearing every third note and every fifth note but they're happening at the same time now if i bring the accents for the three down now we can hear the three bring the accents for the five down we hear the five and we can hear the four by setting the mark position to be every one quarter note. So there we're back to the original three versus four versus five. So that's how you can use polynome to give you three rhythms against each other. The options you have for the third metronome are these. We hit play. If I bring up the one fader, you have quarter notes. If you want eighth notes, you can bring up the and fader. If you want sixteenth notes, you can bring up the E and the A faders. If you want triplets, you can bring up the trip and let faders. And finally, if you want some other division, you can choose to set the mark position. And let's say we want every third sixteenth note, you can have that. So the third sixteenth note against the quarter note. So we have a three against four just from this fader down here. So that's the power of polynome.